All right, this week's segment on Senior Graves brought to you by Bartons and Second Grade took on the mighty Gold Coast uh, Dolphins over at Ian Drony Field. Peter George made his return after back surgery for the first time, only as a batsman. The boys did a pretty good job on the weekend against the Finns. I think I caught up with Peter George during the week. Here's what the big fella had to say. Peter George, mate, uh, welcome back to cricket, mate. Second grade last week at Ian Droney Field, mate. Yes. Been out there before? No, I haven't uh, played on that one before. Um, yeah, but just great to get back into it, get playing some games again. Yeah, it's been a while since uh, back surgery, and so yeah, first game since last season. All right, we'll get to that in a second. We'll just talk about the second grade game in the fact that uh, they won the toss and uh, decided to bat. It looked yeah. like it was pretty uh, moving around a bit out there. Yeah, the, the pitch, just looking at it, um, uh, looked quite good, but um, yeah, we, uh, yeah, Lancey would have, would have bowled if we won the toss, so um, yeah, we were pretty happy bowling that, and it uh, did a nibble and bounce and that yeah. kind of thing. Is this the elusive Lance Rosinski who doesn't go to training? The same man? Uh, well, I don't know if I can <laughs> comment about not going to train, so right. I don't know But uh, good, good uh, at first a little bit of stick there, but the boys came on. Anything short seemed to get belted. Yeah, it, it was, it yeah. was quite, just kind of pop in yeah. the wicket, so yeah, I was trying to uh, yeah, encourage the bowlers to get as full as we yeah. could. You know, even, even genuine half volleys were, um, you know, hard to play as much, but it was really just popping and yeah. doing good side rows as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, the boys maybe a touch short early and then just yeah, found our lengths and mm. went through off. Young Gunning did a great job for for but Connor V. Wheel, who's played in his debut this year for the uh, the first grade, he's a good talent, mate, good young bloke. Yeah, definitely, yeah. There's a lot of promise there. He's a bit of an X-factor, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Obviously being a left armour, but just, yeah, good raw pace and... Yeah, there's um, yeah, a lot of potential there, really excited. You got Gold Coast out for a pretty ordinary total, but geez, you made hard work with it, didn't you? We did early, yeah, um, yeah lost a few wickets, um, but yeah, obviously Solly is just, um, just a class above, uh, I thought. On Saturday and Sunday, he, um, oh, sorry, yeah, just Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. on Saturday he, um, yeah, just um, the way he took down the bowlers when the, when the opportunity was there, and, they, and he got some, and he, yeah, just... Once they put the field out, he uh, yeah just changed gears. Um, you know, and I've, I've seen first grade batsmen that you know don't have that ability to change gears, just keep going hard and get themselves out. Um, but yeah, the maturity level he showed to just change gears and um, yeah take opportunities when they came, and then yeah he made it look easy. And, what, 120 of 140 on his <laughs> yeah, It's not bad, but right. you might have to buy him a few beers. Hey, yourself, mate, oh, we've got some footage there of you actually in the field rolling around or everything like that. We we're talking about the back of the start, I think. So, yeah. obviously, at 100%, but bowling is definitely completely different to batting and, uh, and fielding, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. yeah. So, um, it's just, yeah, uh, unrestricted now in terms of my back. Um, yeah, obviously, the surgery and everything went really well. Um, rehab now, um, yeah, like I say, unrestricted apart from bowling. So, bowling wise, I just need to build those workloads mm. back up. The aim is for the first shield game back after Christmas, which is until February 8th. So okay. they've basically just prescribed the, the whole the whole plan in there, and it's quite conservative. But you know, just the, the more conservative you can be, the yeah. you know, I guess the safer it is. So. So February, February the 8th, running into Valentine's Day, you resume your love affair with cricket on the 40th, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> that's but, right. But that's all right. Now, Pat Cummins as well, another, another player who's had back problems as well. Uh, it's a drive to play for your country again, isn't it? It's, a, it's, a, it's not stupid what you, why, you, why you're doing this, isn't it? The, the, uh, the motivation to play for your country and your yeah, state definitely. again. Um, yeah, I guess playing for Australia has kind of always been the dream yeah. as a, since a kid. So, um, yeah, I had one opportunity in 2010. Um, yeah, loved it. It was amazing. And still the baggy ground at home and look at it and sort of think, yeah, just, yeah. Does that get you out of bed every morning? Um, to be honest, it, it's not so much the, the baggy green and thinking about playing for Australia. It, like, it sounds a bit, a bit cliche, I guess, because you, you know, I feel like that's kind of next level to me um, my main motivation is playing for Queensland okay. um, you know that's what gets me through difficult training sessions um, you know you always need like you say you always need something getting out of bed something yeah. getting you to push yourself that extra mile um, you know in the field or especially in a hard training session mm. um, running or whatever I'm effectively in pre-season mode at the moment yeah. you know, working pretty hard so um, yeah to me uh, my motivation has been play every game for Queensland, play every game for Queensland. So, obviously this season can't play every game, but yeah. um, 
every game after Christmas now is fine. So. Well, mate, you had a birthday a couple of weeks ago, mate, so uh, you uh, racked up the 30 points yeah. plus. But anyway, so no restrictions there. India, this is where you made your test debut at Bangalore. Now, the Winter Mountain Sea Eagles, they're sending some juniors over there, mate. You, you, what do you recommend? Is that going to be a great tour or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bangalore's a this. It's nice, it's a pretty green uh, city, there's a lot of trees about, so I guess it just depends on you, just got to enjoy it. India is just a different place, so you, you know, you can't kind of expect the usual kind of comforts, and, but some things, depending on where you mm. stay or, or whatever, so um, just, yeah, just go over there and enjoy every minute of it, it's just different. And, yeah. Mm. Graham Mapri, uh, yeah, will probably have something in some tin shed or something like that. He'll be staying in the, in the five star luxury now, Mappers. Yes. And the other thing behind you, you can see some of the things that are named here at Allen Border Field. And I'm missing a plaque up there. I thought the Graham Mapri urinals might have a plaque up there <laughs> or something like yeah. that. Yeah, there's a few posts in the urinals. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fairly popular there. So, hey, uh, mate, look, great on you getting back on the horse. There's players like yourself, there's Chris Lynn and these players that get knocked down. You get back up off the canvas and you come back and you try and get back and play for your state, as you say. And obviously, he starts off with Wyndham. When can we expect you uh, bowling back for uh, winning? Because still got to wait until uh, after Christmas. Yeah, so still uh, rolling out a couple of overs. Um, you know, I've got my, my rehab kind of program. Yep. So um, yeah, you might see my name in the scorecard for the second grade as bowling, rolling a few overs out. But um, it won't be till just before Christmas. I'll okay. be off my proper full run. And, right. um, yeah. Uh, hopefully the aim is to play first grade one day. I think it's on the 16th. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, you got who you got this weekend? Uh, we got North. North at, uh, North. at North. North. Okay. Grade, yeah. All right. So we were thrilled there last week in there. Second grade clash against the Bulldogs. I don't know if you footage, uh, see the footage, mate. Pete, thanks for your time this morning. I know you're busy. And uh, look, all, all the best for the Seagulls. Uh, look, I, I wouldn't worry about the Bulls, mate. Just keep playing for the Seagulls. They're in strife. <laughs> Chris Lloyd's cut his hand open, eh? <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw uh, Lutz's yeah. hand, that looks disgusting. Yeah, well, it just goes with the rest of his face and body pretty much. Yeah. So, All right, mate, all the best. Right. Cheers. Good on, John. Thank Come you. on.